Yo guys and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be part two of trying to fix the common issue found on the S2000 which is the trunk rusty spot. If you haven't watched the first part it should be down in the description below. The link should be up here somewhere. It's going to be dotted around the place so make sure to go to check that out if you want to. It's also got a few bits in there like I showed you guys the exhaust that I'm going to be putting on the car. So if you're interested go check it out then come back to this video. The aim of today's video is going to be patching up the holes and completely undersealing it so that it's properly protected. Let's just just get on with today's video um, I forgot to mention yesterday I hope you guys are doing well I hope isolation and all this lockdown is treating you well keep busy keep productive uh, everything everyone's going through the same thing so just make sure that you're keeping your mind busy and you're looking after yourself mentally so hope you guys are having a good day before I go out there, I've also got this package that turned up just a minute ago. Bought a new OEM Honda battery. Lately, the battery on my S2000 has been going flat. I don't know if it's because I haven't been driving it enough or it's just it just needs changing. The previous owner had the car for about eight years, so I thought I'd uh, just buy a new one. I've gone for the OEM, so it's just there. I'll do that on a separate video. So today, I'm gonna be using JB Weld. There are two parts here and then we're gonna underseal um, everything that we can. So let's go. It's only been about 22 hours, but let's have a look at what it looks like now. Oh, I've got all my panels here, so give me two seconds while I remove this. Nice. So it doesn't look like it's dark gray. I mean, that's definitely dark gray, but that's got like a purple tinge to it. So yeah, that looks all right. Before I uh, underseal it, I'm just gonna quickly patch up those two holes, put those bungs in and do a nice bit of sealant work. And in yesterday's video, I also addressed the, the source of the leak, which is this. Hopefully it's touch dry, which it is. Both sides, I've got my bumper on here, but I'll check that in a minute. So just having a little feel around, it's all dry now. So I'm happy with that. So now that's dry, I'm gonna patch up these holes real quick. So according to the instructions, the mixing ratio for these two is one to one. So you want equal parts of the black and the red. I've got a um, filler card here and I've got an onion board. So I'm gonna quickly mix up um, a generous amount and then we'll just start, um, I guess, patching up the hole and see what it looks like. There we go. I know that looks really, really janky and DIY looking, and that's because it is a DIY job. The proper job, I should have just cut out a big square piece or a rectangular piece, welded a new plate, and done it that way. I don't have the tools, I don't have a grinder to do that. I don't have sheet metal to just fabricate and all that kind of stuff. So I've just sort of used my resources. I've slapped on a lot of JB weld on that side. We come round to the bottom as well. I've patched up these two holes. Once this is dry, I'm gonna underseal this. I'm gonna spray it with stone chip protector. Once this is dry, I'm gonna underseal it using the Dynax UB, but according to the label, the curing time for this is around four to six hours. So I'm pretty sure I won't have any time today to do that because it's already like two o'clock, I think. By the time I get out here and do my first layer of underseal, it will already be 
Um, if so, I'll give myself six hours, so it will be eight o'clock. So I'll come out here and check in about four hours to see if it's uh, touch dry, and then I'll make a decision. I almost forgot to cover these holes. I'm going to put the bungs back in, and then I'm going to silicone that and seal these up. And hopefully this is the last time I'm ever, ever doing this again because it's such a long process having to let different products cure. I'm glad it's all done and I can't wait till everything's back to normal. So let's do this real quick. Whilst the JB Weld is drying and the silicon, I'm going to use my time to work on our bedroom. I've already stripped down our old wardrobe. I've got a new one to assemble. That's going to be fun and we've also got a set of drawers that I need to assemble. I'm going to keep myself entertained for a couple of hours, so by the time I'm done here, hopefully everything's touch dry and then I can apply um, a good amount of undersill. I might just do one solid coat and call it a day. I can't be able to do one coat, leave it for 24 hours and do a second coat. I know I said in the video yesterday that I want to do everything properly according to the book, but time is money. I'm trying to get this done, so I might just do one 50 to 100% coat, see what that looks like. And also the reason why I want to do it quick is because it's actually raining in a couple of days and I think that's coming in tomorrow. So the last thing that I want is wet under seal or something that's not cured properly and it's gonna react with the water. And yeah, I don't want all the hard work that I've just put in to suddenly just go like that. So that's my train of thoughts. I hope you guys are enjoying the content so far. I promise you we can go back to building the fun stuff like putting the exhaust in. I've got the tents to go in and uh, yeah, yeah, just very, very fun stuff coming up soon. So make sure to keep going back to this channel. Before I started working on the chest of drawers, I actually applied a good amount of Hydrate 80 onto my crash bar. Color of the rust has gone dark gray. I think that's what it's supposed to do. So that should be orange, it's left a nice dark gray. This was the worst of it. So now I've got that done. That's been sort of curing for the past two hours. I'm gonna hit it with a good coat of this Dynax UB. I'm gonna do that and let's have a look. Give me two seconds. I'm gonna remove all these panels and see if the JB Weld has flashed off. Okay, so the silicon is nice and dry, but unfortunately this JB Weld is still a little bit tacky. Yeah, I can feel it. I can't decide whether to wait a couple of more hours and do it tonight or just... I'll make my mind up later, but let's go ahead and slap some under seal on this crash bar. That should do it. I might just leave this with the one coat, but now I have to figure out where I'm gonna leave this because it's meant to be raining tomorrow and this takes about 24 hours to cure. I might just set it underneath this tree, but no doubt it will get wet. So my train of thought, get a couple of bricks and put one here and one here and, and just shove it under the car, keep it elevated so the water's not getting on it. I think that will work, so we're gonna do that real quick. Cool. 
that splash bar underneath the car i think that's good enough no water should uh, get on that that's the most important thing i'm not too bothered if a bit of dust lands on it because i'm only gonna bury it again with a final coat sometime i'm gonna let that sit there for a while now yeah i'm gonna wrap up today's video guys i think i'm just gonna do this i'll come back after a couple of days and i'll show you guys um, once everything's back together. I was thinking I could just run the cutback exhaust. I might just keep the decal off for a while because I do want to hear what this um, Nvidia N1 sounds like. So whilst the car's on jack stands, I might do my exhaust uh, maybe tomorrow. Um, not tomorrow because it's raining. Just tidy everything up and then I'll, yeah, I'll end the video back upstairs. <laughs> Curiosity killed the cat. Don't know why I said that. <laughs> guys, I'm gonna end it today's video. I'm sorry I couldn't show you guys the under seal, but you will see the end result. Because if I wait and film the process, by the time the JB Weld is fully flashed and cured, it will already be dark, and I don't really wanna be filming when you can't see anything. So that would be pointless. I'm gonna keep this video short and sweet. Make sure to come back to this channel because I am deciding to put the exhaust in the next couple of days once the rain passes. And um, that's also a good thing because it will actually show me if um, I did a good enough job on my ceiling work on the vents. And then if there is another leak, I can find out where that's coming from. But fingers crossed, I'm feeling very optimistic about my job. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day or evening wherever you are watching. And I expect you to come back on the next video. Peace guys.